it's a common notion that uh, we are the biggest country in the world and with the distances of Russia and uh, with its vast territory, travel becomes uh, kind of an alienable part of, um, of life of any uh, Russian uh, citizen. The exhibition is about Russia on the route, Russia on the road. It is not about the history of transport, but also the history of the country across the whole 20th century. In the 20th century, with its development of new technology, and particularly the transport, the speed with the appearance of aviation, and the huge development from down to earth, so to say, in aviation to the jet planes, all that couldn't be noticed by artists and um, cherished and uh, depicted and, and enjoyed. We are fortunate that the Institute of Russian Realist Art has done a great job bringing this exhibition to Italy. It is very significant, unprecedented, bringing together the most important museums in Russia. It opened a new chapter in cultural life of Italy. As a lover of Russian and Soviet art, I'm particularly proud to present an exhibition on this uh, period in the Palazzo delle Esposizioni. This is incredibly meaningful for audience to understand how much uh, different, but how much important was also the Russian apport to the history of art. Through the paintings, we can go deeper into some themes uh, which belongs to the great theme of the socialist realism. How Soviet Russia was developing its industry, how it was trying to get into the air and then later into the space, how it was trying to get across the huge country. You can see impressionistic aspirations or hyperrealism and all the main trends of Soviet art, which is not very well known abroad. Very different artists from different ages, but uh, under the same umbrella. This picture is my favorite one. Deineka is one of the most famous Russian artists. And this picture isn't chosen by chance, because it is about the poetry of Mayakovsky. We can assume Deineka as an innovator in the art, and Mayakovsky as innovator in the literature of the 20th century. It's uh, authentic Niski, which is um, really a gem of our collection. It's the first picture of the 60s where the, our first uh, jet uh, passenger plane is described picture of Niski, which is the image of the show, it includes something coming from the past. There is also a sort of um, Dr. Zhivago remembering, but also so looking at the future. Among all this color variety, you are surprised that this is monochrome picture. That is how it stands out. Almost all the paintings that I see allow you to pause for a moment and look into a slice of life that uh, you might not be familiar with, but the artist has decided that this is a, a moment in time that we can all share. I do remember some wonderful travels by train all around the Russia, and I think that uh, this is the best way to get in touch with the Russian people and with the Russian landscape. By train, and I like traveling by train. Train would be my favorite. By train. By plane. By plane. Plane. By car. By train. The composition of the exhibition is very dramatic. We feel dynamics, movement in every picture. We can see the transformation of Russian art since 1920s to 1990s. I felt in the very first room a sense of cinema, of things moving, of uh, selective uh, moments of time, but moving all along. And I felt that energy and I thought it was very good. Exhibition shows that movement forwards is a kind of a concept which is inherent in Russian mentality, or at least in Russian 20th century mentality. It is incredibly amazing. I've never thought I'd see so many good things. Some pictures really touch my heart. 
This is a great treasure for our children and grandchildren. This is a great contribution to the art, which is important not only for the Italians, but for the whole world.